Hi everyone! Welcome to the video Choosing a Testing Technique for the ABI project. Let's begin. In a previous video, we have written the first bug in the test case. Now we are going to check the management answers. We received a response from the manager. He has added the CURL to the story, provided the link to the swagger, but explains that we won't have the access to it in the near future. As the QA expert, you don't take a word for it. You have to check, see for yourself. So you click on the link. And you can see the error. We really do not have access. In this case, let's check the CURL provided by the manager. But when you check it, it looks exactly like the one we managed to create ourselves. To be 100% sure, let's compare it to the CURL in our bug. And yes, that is exactly the same CURL, so we don't have access to the swagger, and the CURL doesn't provide any new valuable information. So what's next? First of all, let's talk about the requirements. Looks like the manager thinks that images and CURL are enough to do the testing. You need to talk with the manager to learn more about the project, to clarify the expectations from the QA expert. Then you will be able to decide what kind of testing approach to implement on the project, formal or informal. But what we can do now at this moment? When we don't have proper requirements, we need to test it in an informal way. We need to start from the informal approach. I will tell you more. Most likely the Google Sheets is already too much for now. We won't write test cases anymore. The steps, inputs, outputs. All of this makes sense only in the case if we will move to the proper test management system in the future, like TestRail or some Jira plugins. But we have no idea if it will happen in the near future. Instead of test cases, we are going to use checklists. The checklists based testing technique. And in the future, we will see what we can improve. Let's delete the redundant information from the test case for now. So the test suite structure will remain the same. We have the Pet Store Swagger test suite. And save the endpoint test suite. Get slash v2 slash pet slash pet id. And leave the summary of the test cases as it was. But we won't keep steps, inputs and outputs. We will store all of that in the Postman tool. And in the next video, we are going to do exploratory testing on this endpoint. Based on the results, we will improve our checklist and will add more test cases to it. Thank you for watching. If you like coffee or a coffee shop, leave a thumbs up, if not thumbs down. See you in the next video.